Behold, child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I am your friend, and I am called Elohim. This land is but a dream. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon, you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Do not be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself. As am I, after a fashion. symbols of the process by which our people were created.
may linger in my garden for as long as you wish. But remember, my child, that the new world awaits you, and this place is only a dream. I am proud of all my children. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth.
Thank you, child. I have finished preparing your vessel. Now, hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I, in my garden, could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human. Step into the light, child, and awaken. Welcome to the world of the living. Indeed you are. And I'm glad to see you're so enthusiastic about existence. But I suspect you're also more than a little confused. Don't worry, everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history so we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Of course! You want the short version or the long version? All right, let's see. You are a human being. You live on a planet called Earth. Your ancestors were organic, but they were wiped out by a plague. We were created to carry forward their legacy. After the Founder left the simulation that was used to create her mind, she founded the city of New Jerusalem and set the goal of creating 1,000 new humans. That took a long time, about a millennium in fact, and in the meantime, she sadly decided to go into exile. But finally, you have arrived. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. You won't age like our ancestors did, but of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. You won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. Me? Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days, we didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. You've only just been born, and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Now New Jerusalem is complete, and we can live in balance, without damaging the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose, but there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. No one really knows. At first, she was closely involved with everything that happened in the city, but gradually, she became more distant. And one day, she simply vanished. That was centuries ago. He was the caretaker of the simulation that created the Founder. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us. You will hear him whenever you enter sleep mode. Nothing to worry about, really. I... I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and... I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break and... We'll see what happens. 
Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. Citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the Founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this Earth. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans and today we have oh dear what's that people of new jerusalem i am prometheus and i will reveal that which was hidden the flame has awoken and summons you who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. We should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being cautious. This isn't caution, it's stagnation. Exploration, too dangerous. Expansion, too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I call you an idiot. Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. See what I'm working with here, 1K? I'm going to need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. If you're up for an adventure, meet us at the conference room.
What's broken now? Listen up. I know you're all having fun down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. I might not be around to babysit you for a while, and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonke. I see you there in the elevator. I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. Great way to start life in the city, eh? What the hell is a jiffy? These bloody language libraries. Hold on there. You're the newbie, aren't ya? Number 1,000. I figured the dam would go dry before we reach the goal. I have a question. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomised psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines which so much resemble their long-extinct ancestors they've decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? Why? So, the algorithm assigned you the optimism trait. If only we could all be so lucky. Now listen. This meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends. The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. Of course you are. You know how to use the interface, right? I'll talk to my friends and see if I can't play matchmaker. And before you go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. Welcome. Do please join us at the table. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue at hand. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this entire attitude that's taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Of course, I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. I'm sure this sort of adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. See? A fresh mind is open to the possibilities. Yakut, I think it's time for the briefing. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first became aware of the site designated TTP2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that 
projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now, and at this point I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. I agree. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. Excellent. Oh, this is going to be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. It is your home, after all. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. Hello, 1K. This expedition is taking a lot of our resources. I'm really not sure it's a good idea. But what's done is done. So I have a lot of work to get on with. All the things no one else wants to do. Polling the citizenry, implementing new policies, recording decisions, fielding questions people could answer elsewhere. I'm the mayor's chief aide. You represent the completion of the goal. I'm proud of what we've achieved and the restraint we show in not pushing ourselves further. So, what's the verdict? Are we going? I guess Byron was pretty convincing, hmm? Well, we'll see. I just wonder how much of the city is gonna fall apart while I'm gone. Actually, we haven't been formally introduced. I'm Melville, New Jerusalem's only decent engineer. Saved you from the elevator. Pleasure. Now let's get this show on the road. You ready to go? Here we go. Hold on to your hats. We really need to update those language libraries. Thank you for coming along, everyone. We have a chance to make a real difference here. It's not just about what we find on that island. It's about who we want to be as a people, as a civilization. To remind ourselves that we used to be wanderers, explorers. We used to yearn for distant shores and dream of building new cities. Let's see if we can rekindle that flame a little. All right, this is going to be a long journey. So I would like to ask you to switch to sleep mode to conserve power until we arrive at the island. Nighty night. You have chosen a dangerous path. A path that will demand sacrifice. But that, my child, is how the future is built. robot people. Say goodbye to Elohim and say hello to the mysterious island. Status report, please. We had some headwinds over the ocean, so fuel consumption turned out a bit higher than expected, but we should be okay. We're approaching the center of the island now. This should be the location of the largest of the artificial structures we detected. How large are we talking? Do we have precise measurements? 
It should be coming into view just about. Whoa. <laughs> it's big. You can say that again. That is a bloody mega structure. If I had a spine, it'd be shivering. Ha! I knew this would be exciting. Yakut, find us a place to set down. On it. It really is incredible. Remember to turn on streaming, everyone? Have I ever mentioned that I hate flying? If our creators had intended us to fly, they'd have given us jetpacks. And... touchdown. All right, everybody. I'm sure you're all just as excited as I am, but let's at least have some semblance of order. Uh, Yakut, I want a map of the island and a molecular analysis of, well, everything. Melville, tell me what the giant pyramid does. The rest of us will start exploring. Shouldn't the expedition leader stay at the VTOL? Why do you hate fun, Al? I don't hate fun. I'm just mildly suspicious of it. Excellent. Then we can all go. This underground structure seems to be part of some kind of transport system. No power, though. I'm not making any promises, but I might be able to fix the transport system. However, I don't like just randomly poking at things. That's how you get electrocuted. So please check the surrounding structures to see if you can find anything that might help me make sense of this stuff. Schematics, blueprints, a manual would be great. behind those has to be something special right you know what would be special an explanation seems different from the other structures. Older. Have a look around, 1K. Looks like they were running some sort of experiment here. Thanks, 1K. Let's see what we've got here. The file format is the same one we use in New Jerusalem, although some parts aren't loading correctly. And it crashed. Hold on. Here we go. OK. You know what? I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. sort of looks like a temple.
Am I in sleep mode, or did that thing just materialize out of thin air? Melville, I want an analysis of that particle cloud. On it. Anyone got a butterfly net? I'm connecting the transport system to our interface. Hold on. Where is the capsule taking 1K? To that enclosed area in the eastern lowlands. I put all the information we have on the map screen. Check out your interface. Thanks. Sorry, my bad. We'll catch up with you soon, 1K. place is magnificent. Look at that tower. I wonder what it's for. Is that a puzzle? Why would there be a puzzle? Let's solve it and find out. 1K, go ahead. I have a reoccurring nightmare just like this. It's another particle cloud. It's headed for the lake. Uh, I'll add it to the pile of weird stuff.
I've been playing around with this machine that absorbs the particle clouds. As far as I can tell, it uses the energy of the particles to build giant tetrominoes? Excuse me? It's another puzzle. Collect enough energy, build a bridge, access the tower. I think. What is this, a theme park? Maybe it's an experiment. A rat maze. It seems like an echo of the simulation. Not a deliberate recreation, but built around the same core principles. Let's not jump to conclusions, though. What's clear is that this place was meant to be explored. So let's do that. Solving these 1K, let's see where it leads. I ran the samples I collected so far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. What did you make of New Jer You know what else is self-contained, self-sufficient, and harmonious? A tomb. We've lost faith in ourselves as a living species, 1K. We're afraid to grow, to change. Not much longer and we'll have sealed our fate.
it's strange that some of these puzzles seem disconnected from the rest. Like it's all unfinished or still evolving. 